Hello, it is Sydney yet again. <laughs> Welcome to my channel, Sydney's Joint. Okay. Um, I have a little more energy today. It's hot. It is so hot. Y'all hot? I'm hot. Let me get my um products and then I'll come back. And we're talking about my November. My no, why is it so loud? It's never been this loud before. We're gonna talk about my November watches, okay? What I've watched during November, and then I'm gonna talk about what I want to watch during December. I've already December's already started, baby. It's December 10th, but like I already watched some movies. I want to talk about those as well, cause the movies I've watched are good. I'm becoming a Hamilton stand, sadly. Okay, so now that we have everything ready, let's get started. Let me pull up my own letterbox first to keep track of everything that I have. Letterbox, Eloisa and Peggy. Here she go! Here she go! I didn't watch many movies in November, actually. Um, I watched my, I rewatched Monsters Incorporated. I rewatched Heather's. I watched Four Color Girls for the first time. I watched Casino, of course. I watched two Kevin Hart specials in the same night. <laughs> Kevin Hart, What Now, and Kevin Hart's Laugh at My Pain, okay? And we're gonna talk about um, some of the December watches, but I don't know if I wanna make that a video in itself. So yeah, first thing that we're gonna do is eyebrows, of course. So let me do the... Okay, so first thing, the Monsters Inc. I do not remember Monster Inc. being this good. I do not remember Monsters Inc. being this good. Cause what what in the world? Ew. Sorry, an ad just popped up, so it's disturbing. Okay, so I said in my little box video all I need to say. Street saying this is the best Pixar movie. I am streets, okay? Because why is this this movie is so freaking good. I should change my, my viewing from four and a half to a full five star. Because I was about to cry. I was laughing. This is a this is a funny movie. Like when people talk about Marcin Inc., like people talk about how funny it is, but wow, this is a funny movie. Like I was laughing. I can't there's a specific joke that I literally had to pause the movie. I was laughing so hard. Like literally. It was so funny. Like I love Marcin Inc. I'm sorry, now I need to rewatch it. And I never, okay. And also, I started Alvin and the Chipmunks in the same night. Only one of them got finished. Cause I really was about to write a review on Alvin and the Chipmunks, right? Well, I don't feel like removing the tape off of my camera right now. So, um, I'm just gonna say something. I'm going to make a video on Alvin and the Chipmunks. I think I'm gonna watch all of the movies, not all the animated ones, cause that's too much. And I'm not about to watch the series either, but I'm gonna watch all like the main movies like that are like 3d and stuff and i'll make a video on that because that seems fun and i'll rank them like yes and i'll give my thoughts um yeah let me know if y'all really want to see that for real like i'll put like a poll up or something because <laughs> i was <laughs> i know i can pull it up on my ipad i was writing it down in my notes like literally let me go pull it up Alvin and Chipmunks, okay. Dave is so annoying, his voice is unbearable, and he cannot act. <laughs> Literally, my notes, okay. My notes, I was eating them up because I don't, like, it is very funny. Alvin and Chipmunks is a very funny movie, but Dave is so horrible. He, like, if, if I finish that movie, it'll probably finish with like a three and a half star because of how horrible Dave is. Dave is so annoying and unbearable. What time is it? Because I'm actually on a time crunch, low key. But Dave is so unbearable and annoying. Like, I literally hate that man. I hate that man. I hate that man. Like, and he can't act! He can't act. Oh my gosh, he cannot act. And it makes me mad. Anyways, next on the chopping block is am i sitting like that like oh my gosh you know what it gives it gives dr doofus but hold on 
Oh my gosh, it gives hushback of Notre Dame. Oh my god, baby, sit up straight. Sit up straight. Heathers. Okay, so I rewatched Heathers. Like, Heathers is literally on my wall. If you zoom in right under the Tyler, wait, it's a moment. If you zoom in under right under the Tyler, Heathers is right there. Okay, like, I love Heathers. And the only reason why I rewatched Heathers is because I was revisiting the musical, right? Heathers the musical, don't shoot me. It's better than the original Heathers. Don't shoot me. <laughs> Don't shoot me because I'm real. Because I'm real. Right? Because, like, I was watching this and I was like, it's fun. But, like, let's be serious for two seconds. Like, and, like, I know that JD's dialogue was supposed to be a joke. But I, I still found it incredibly annoying. And I found it unbearable. Right, even in in a musical, it's like it's it's not as bad. Like everybody knows that J, JD is not supposed to be taken seriously, but JD takes himself so seriously. It's like it's so annoying. Like ugh, ugh. Okay, so that's why I got a four star. And like the funeral scene, I'm re I'm looking at my review right here to remind myself. But the funeral scene, I was dying. Like, I was literally like, oh my gosh, dude got up here and was talking about, oh my gosh, it was one of the football guys. Now I can't remember it. Oh my gosh. Anyway, let's move on to four color bills. Why did I watch this movie? It's not even good. Like, the movie isn't really that good. Like, it's really just trauma, 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 trauma. And I just can't deal with it. I can't. And, like, the infamous scene came on. Everybody was acting really well. Michael Ely is a menace, right? I can never look at him the same. I can never look at him the same. I really can't look at him the same. Because, like... He was really, like, he really got into that role. Like, I think that's one of Michael Ely's best performances. Like, he had to get serious. Because usually Michael Ely, he plays the same guy over and over again. The light skin, hot heartthrob that be saving the woman. Now, he's putting them in peril. Okay? And I feel like the movie is trying to teach everybody the lesson that these... How do you know decorum, sir? Mason, what do you want? What? 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 Okay, you're not about to yell at me. That's one thing you're not about to do. Oh my gosh. When the Janet Jackson scene came up. Oh, 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 so you doing the bending. <laughs> and I watched this movie while I was sick. So I really wasn't paying all that much attention to it. That may factor into the fact that I really like, I really just don't care for the movie. Like, it's not required watching as a black woman. It's not. It's not. It's really just subjecting black women to the pain of other black women just to subject them to that pain. Like, what? I don't know if what I said makes sense, but basically I meant, like, when people say, oh, you need to watch this as a black girl growing up and this, this, and that, I feel like it's quite unnecessary because you just want me to see a black woman's trauma just to see a black woman's trauma. Like, I learned nothing from this movie except to not trust men. And that, <laughs> and I already knew that. So, like, what? It basically says that the world is a cruel place for a black woman. And what black woman does not know that? Like, it's really unnecessary, I feel like. So, yeah, that's what I meant. I can't imagine watching this, like, on BET after, like, last Christmas came on. And they're like, okay, black movie marathon, let's play for color girls. Like, what? Are you serious? Like, that's so unserious. But we move. I forgot to put Prime on again. It's okay, we move. I'm about to make this work, I don't know. I need mean, a mind that work, work. The amount of times that I've quoted Hamilton in this video alone has not convinced you to watch Hamilton or at least listen, oh my gosh, or at least listen to the soundtrack.
I don't know what will because that is actually a piece of art. It's a masterpiece. And oh my gosh. Sorry. This is like Hamilton keep popping in my brain. It's like it rewired my thinking. Okay. So let's get the skin tint. That's all I have to say about for color girls. I'm just an interested and I'm honestly like I just feel like it's not enough. And I think Tyler Perry needs to be put in jail for many other crimes, but this is one of the top ones. Okay. To get to the star of the show, what everybody's been waiting for, Casino, okay? I watched Casino towards the end of the month. I watched it the day after um, Thanksgiving. So, there's so much I can say about Casino. Casino, it tackles so many things. I don't think it does any of them quite successfully. Um, you shoot me, okay. That does not make Casino a bad movie, okay? It's just not as good as other movies that I've seen tackle the same type of storyline, okay? It's still a four star on Letterboxd, but if we were to put it up against Goodfellas, who's coming up on top? Goodfellas, because it's Goodfellas. So, so let's be serious. It's an entertaining movie, but it's like it drags on for so long. There's so much of Casino that could have been cut out, which is why it only got a four star. Like, it could have been a five star movie if it wasn't so, like, if it didn't spend, like, the first 40 minutes introducing a bunch of people instead of, like, just, like, catching us up as it went along. Like, I feel like that's also a big problem in Martin um, Scorsese's movies. Like... Catch us up as we go along. I don't need that big montage introduction, you know? Like, mind you, I've only watched two Martin Scorsese films, so I can't really speak on if I like them or not. Like, I really love Goodfellas. It got a five, five out of five. And Joe Pesci ate, like, ugh, I love Joe Pesci so much. Like, ugh. But yeah, the slurs were unneeded. One thing about Martin is that he's gonna put some slurs in a movie. Like, oh my gosh. The ending of the movie was good. But I found that like it dragged on a little bit. Like I was like, duh, everybody got arrested. That's why we're like, duh. But like, yeah. By the end, I didn't care. And also I broke it up between two days of viewing because it was such a long movie. Like I just didn't really care for the movie by the end of it, you know? But it was a good movie nonetheless. Okay, next, Kevin Hart's What's Now? What Now? <laughs> Baby. I, it was actually quite funny. I always think that the beginning parts of the film where it's like not the comedy comedy special are so unfunny. And he did not prove me wrong. He did not prove me wrong. Every time that there's a like beginning of his comedy special, I'm just never entertained by them. And this is one of them. Like it was better than the one, the other one. Which one is the other one? Laugh at my pain. It was better than the laugh at my pain beginning. Cause it was the more like, but I was just uninterested. But the actual comedy special was very funny. That's why I got a three and a half star. Um, next is Kevin Hart, laugh at my pain. That is a funny comedy special. Got a four star, okay? Cause it was freaking hilarious. Like, but it was just so many moments. I was like, what is he doing? Like, I'll go in and out. Like, moments where I'm paying attention, moments where I'm not. And I'll be like, whoa. Because why was he on stage doing whatever with a stool? What's going on? What's going on? We really need to um, unpack. We need to unpack this, okay? So, next. Okay, and now we're going to talk about some of my December watches, okay? I watched The Immaculate Room, three and a half stars. Um, y'all gassed it up on TikTok. Y'all said, oh, it's too, it's too disturbing, it's too disturbing. Um, I was not gag. Well, I was gag. I was, I was gag, and then I was like, oh. And then I was like, oh. At least you made, oh, that was about to be spoiling. I have literally been spoiling movies this entire time, but I draw the line at The Immaculate Room. Let us be serious. 
for two seconds. Hold on. Okay, spoiler, spoiler alert. Okay. At least she got the money. At least she got the money. Because if she did all that extra stuff to not get the money, I would have been mad. I would have especially mad if I was the guy. Like, And then she was like, she avoided talking about how she got the money. Which was like, whatever. Okay. Dang, I think that was too much. Okay. Next. I finally watched it. Black Panther Wakanda Forever. My letterbox review says, and I quote, I almost cried. Because I did, okay? Like, I did. Multiple times I almost cried. Um, I was in that movie theater hanging on for dear life trying not to cry, okay? And I was just gagged. I was gagged. I was gagged. The movie gagged. And everybody was gagged. Everybody gag, gag, gag. Okay. Why did I do that? <laughs> what but yeah so basically it was a very beautiful movie it didn't feel really long to me it didn't feel long my parents were like oh it felt really long but me it didn't feel long to me it didn't feel long to me it felt perfect to me I was like some moments it's like it was my parents did point out it was everything but the fight and me I don't it's not that I don't care for fight scenes it's just that like if the fight scene isn't like jumping around, like really like taking me as if I'm in the fight, I really don't care for it. That's what I don't care for. And I feel like that's the type of scene, that's the type of stuff that would be in Black Panther, okay? Like it would just be like an overarching fight scene instead of like going through, through every fight. So it's just, it was more like a war, kind of. It's like a war. And I was the most hyped when the Atlant Ant Atlanteans dropped out. Because people don't know this about me, but like, I don't read comic books, but I watch comic book videos. Like, I love watching comic book videos. Like, I love watching like people talk about the arcs in comic books. And I was, I've been watching more videos about Namor the Seven Mariner. And I was like, oh my gosh, I'm so happy that he's being introduced in the MCU for it. Like, he's really getting introduced. And I feel like people are gonna think of him more as like a Black Panther villain because of this. But, like, I hope people really, like, they dive into his lore and his history. Because Namor is a very important character. Namor would do anything to keep the Atlantean safe, as we see in Wakanda forever. But, like, at what cost? And I need my speedball movie. Oh, I'm so tired, child. I would, I'm so tired. I'm really tired. Pronto. Not a movie. A series. Get me that Steve Bell series right now. Right now. Get that look bitch out of here. Get that bitch the fuck out of here now. <laughs> Give it to me now because I really, oh my gosh. I remember I watched a video on Speedball. I may link it down below. It was a very popular video. It was like millions of views. But I watched it and it was so good. And I went on like a Speedball penance, penance like obsession okay like the fact that speedball caused civil war, civil civil war even though that kind of introduced wakanda in the mcu but i feel like i don't love speedball like i really just want to see him shine like i don't know like if you miss him because when i found out i was like oh my gosh and i feel like I don't know. Mind you, I've not watched Avengers Civil War. I have not watched that movie. <laughs> I've not watched that movie. I had somebody tell me what happened so I could like argue about it. So I could be mad about it. <laughs> I've not watched that movie. I need to watch it though. Like, I need to watch it. Like, don't jump me. But like, I need to watch that movie. I'm just not interested. In, I'm not interested in Avengers movies. Like, I was, I've never, I didn't watch Infinity War, but I watched Endgame. That's like the only Avengers movie I've watched. I haven't even watched Age of Ultron. Like literally, I don't. Like, the same way I don't watch Captain America movies. Like the only movies I really watch is Spider-Man. And even then I only watched Far From Home. Like I didn't watch, like literally, I'm a fake man. Like, <laughs> it's like, um, I would hate to cut this, um, absolutely insanely long tangent short 
But like, I kind of need to get back to the main point of the video or it'll be like really long. And I know nobody's trying to sit through all this. Like y'all did not sign up for my deep dive into Marvel. Like, and I don't even know that much about Marvel. <laughs> Alexander Hamilton. I watched it and I loved it. Like at first I rated it a four and a half star, but I, I'm about to change my rating to five stars. Cause this movie is actually phenomenal. It's crazy how good this movie is. Like I get why all the theater kids were obsessing over this now. Like at first I was like, what's Hamilton? But now I get it. Like, and why haven't they done the same thing? that they did by putting like a musical on a streaming service because I need Heather's on a streaming service. I'm tired of watching the bootleg. Okay, I'm tired. And I low-key want tickets to go see Hamilton. Like, like put more musicals on Disney Plus or HBO Max. I feel like Heather's is more of an HBO Max type of thing. Low-key. Because it does not need the restrictions of not being able to curse like how Hamilton wouldn't be able to say like the F word. They weren't allowed to say it. And Lin-Manuel Miranda cannot sing, we know this, but he can write a song. Oh my gosh, that man is so talented. Like that's a very talented man. But like sometimes we just gotta put, he thinks he's Tyler Perry. He is Tyler Perry. Ooh, cause we see him coming. Lin-Manuel Miranda and Tyler Perry are brothers and they were separated at birth but they were still complimented in the set. You just made that up! It's like, why does he put himself in every single one of his movies? Like, let's be serious. Does every movie need a Tyler Perry cameo? No! But you know what every movie that Tyler Perry is in is gonna have? A Tyler Perry cameo! Not in, but direct is gonna have. I'm surprised he's not in his shows. So like, so the next one I um I watched in the same I literally watched this two days ago. Do Revenge. I love Do Revenge. I had to watch it over like two days because I started it before I went to work with my mom. And then we were like, oh, we'll finish it when I get home. And when I got home, I forgot to finish it. And the next day I was like, oh, let's finish it. Okay, and we finished it. And it was really good. Like, it was actually really good. Like, at first I was apprehensive because the social media was going crazy over it. Anything that social media is going crazy over, I know it's going to be bad. But, like, <laughs> no, like, for real. Like, y'all have horrible taste. Like, and I should have never trusted y'all after I read Ace of Spades and I did not like it. Oh, here she go, y'all. Here she go, y'all. Please go on somewhere. Like, for real. Go on. Bye. That's, like, I do not like Ace of Spades, okay? A little, little genre shift, okay? Ace of Spades had me in the first half, but then they destroyed it. But yeah, I'm almost done with my makeup. And that's basically my watch list. Not my, oh, I have to tell y'all what I want to watch, okay? Okay, so hold on. What I want to watch in December, number one on the watch list is Bones at all. I'm going to go to my um, friend's birthday party. We're going to watch Pearl. So, I may update on y'all that or you might. Ooh. I may update y'all on that if I feel like it later. Or I'll just save it for my December watch list video. Um, so, yeah. Um, this is what I. Let me see what this is. Let me pull up my watch list. Um, okay. So, I want to watch Pretty in Pink. I've never watched Pretty in Pink. I really want to watch it. I, of course, I want to watch Bones at all. I'm so excited for Bones at all. Um, I really want to finish Mr. and Mrs. Smith. I keep starting it, and I keep turning it off. Sorry. Of course, watching Pearl, Ready for Pearl. I want to watch Pretty Woman. I've never watched Pretty Woman. I never watched Pretty Women. I'm gonna watch Welcome to the Dollhouse. That has been on my watch list so this far. Ever. I'm gonna watch Welcome to the Dollhouse. And I still haven't watched Minions Rise of Gru. Okay. I, I wanna watch it. And.
Bohemia Rhapsody, okay? Those are the movies I really want to watch, okay? So, yeah. Mm. And shows I would watch. I want to finish Glee. I finished um the first season of Glee. You may get a video on that. Okay, the first season of Glee. Or maybe you'll get the first two seasons recap. Okay. You may not know this about me, but I had a webtoon era. And by era, I mean I religiously read True Beauty and Lookism. Okay. And I could never catch up on Lookism. Like, I think I stopped at, like, chapter 210. And I catched up on True Beauty, but I, like, fell off of it. Because I was like, they were annoying me with this whole love triangle thing. Like, and I like a good love triangle. I've never hated a love triangle. I don't understand the hate for love triangles. I didn't understand it until I watched True Beauty. Lookism, I'm scared for this show. Because I don't know which plots they're going to choose. And I hope it's not the cult plot. It, w it added nothing. It added literally nothing. Why were you, why did you put that boy's mother in a cult? You literally could have just said she abandoned him. So I'm watching Lookers of the series. I just started it last night. I'm excited for it. Um, I started watching Wednesday. I did not finish it, okay? I'm on episode three. I'm still on episode three. This is the final look. Yes, yeah, so pretty. So I'm gonna let y'all go, okay? Subscribe to the channel, leave a like. That will be all guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave some feedback because you know I'm new. This is like my second video ever. So I'm really excited. I'm really excited to go on this journey with y'all. Anyways, bye guys. Bye guys.